Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Big City Green Season 2 episode um, 12B called um, um, Grandma Driver. Yeah, it's called Grandma Driver and let's get started. Okay, so we actually start with um, Bill, Tilly, Cricket, Alice go into like a phone store. I said, like, oh, what are they doing there? And you know, and Bill's like, hey, I know you kids have been begging me and because it's on sale and we finally have enough money, I'm getting you each, I'm getting each of you a cell phone. And they're like, whoa, and then they're just a guy that, you know, the did the help desk. He's like, oh, look at this. It's an indestructible phone. Are you a reckless child that could throw those um, phones? I know you are. And Cricket just grabbed the phone and chucked it. And hey, hey, it didn't break. He gave like a thumbs up. Yeah. And he's like, you know, um, you each get to have your own phone. So Bill gets a phone. Alice gets a phone. Cricket gets a phone. Tilly gets a phone. And, you know, and, and we haven't had this in a while. We actually get a, um, yeah, an A plot, B plot, and C plot, you know? Um, so, we ha I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while since we've gotten three plots in an episode. Because that was, like, the formula for Big City Green Season 1. We got up to a C plots and D plots sometimes. So, you know, this might have been the first one in Season 2 where we got to a C plot. But, you know, they're not bad because Big City Green's, Big City Green's handle handles it well, so... I'm not worried. Okay. And, and you know, basically, um, each plot basically starts where um, Cricket prank calls Gloria. Oh, hello, Gloria. Hello, um, big, big copy manager. And so like, oh, like, who, who says, oh, so this is Mr. Greenberg Shire. And say, like, and I would like um, 90 lattes delivered to 123 Stinky Street. And, you know, um, and Gloria's like, Cricket, are you pranking me? It's like, oh no, I have like all my lattes, please, bye. And he hung up. Okay, ha ha. Tilly, you know, and, and there's Agatha is basically the, um, the, um, like, you know, I, I like the person that you speak to for, like, information. I just want to say the name because it will activate my thing, so. And I'm just not going to say it. But if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But, um,. And you know, basically, and you know, Agatha, and it's like she keeps like, getting Tilly's name wrong, and Tilly's basically convinced, "Oh, you're a soul that's trapped inside a phone. I'm gonna set you free." Okay. And you basically, Bill gets a phone, and he, oh, I accidentally put on a speaker, and this guy name was Jerry, and he's like, "Um, you know, oh, hey, Mr. Green, your mom's car's ready," and it also like, "Wait, why my car's ready?" And he's like, oh yeah, it's been ready for a while, but you never picked up the phone. He's like, oh, okay, Jerry, thanks. And, and you know, oh, because after your mom you know, crashed it. And I was like, Bill Green, I remember from the episode um, Grandma's License in season one. And we get continuity from that where she's like, Bill Green, I worked so hard to get my license renewed. And now I hear you, you were keeping my car for me? And Bill's like, well, I'm sorry, but I just don't feel comfortable with you driving. And I was just like, how dare you? Like, you know? And, like, you know, she's basically, like, offended. And, you know, like, uh, I, I can't I can't believe you bought a car for me. It's like, you know what? So I'm going to just, like, go get that car because I'm going to go um, pick it up. I'm going to prove to you I'm a good driver. And the, the, the tech guy comes back and he's like, Oh, you want to prove you're a good driver? Oh, heck yeah. Well, there's a thing called Swift. Okay, you know, Lyft and Uber. And he's like, Oh, what's Swift? Oh, basically, you you know, you type in your name and you know, your, your, um, the type of car that you use. And you basically pick up people and you get money. And he's like, she's like oh, That's exactly what I'm going to do. Get ready to eat your words, Billy boy. And, you know, um, and then Jerry is like, 
Um, hey, Mr. Green. Um, by the way, I heard your, your whole conversation, and you didn't hang up the phone. He said, okay, thanks, Jerry. And he, he finally hung up the phone. <laughs> and, um... Um... What happens next? Um... Um, the thing that happens next is... Oh yeah, right. So Cricket goes... Um, oh wait, no. Actually, no, sorry. We, we actually get back to um, Alice where... Um, she basically signed up for um okay not to sign up for Swift because she she gets her car back so we get to see you know the um you know the the you know her car and which is this is what we're saying out right here in the end side and she's like oh good to have you back and good to be behind the wheel time to sign up for Swift oh look at that it's easy well time to you know pick up my first person and some lady and say like, oh I'm gonna be there five minutes and like, oh I just read and I was just gives a good smile and she's like. Oh, it's just an old lady. I'm gonna be there in an hour. She's like, "Oh, get ready, oh, get ready!" And then, poof, she's, "Oh my goodness, she's such a terrible driver!" And she keeps keeps on crashing into things. She's basically kind of out of practice and stuff. Like she's very reckless and everything. I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" And it'd be one thing where um. Um, yeah, I guess it's fine, but she gets her come up at the end where she understands. But, um, and, and basically she's like, oh my goodness, is like, you don't get, don't you forget to give me five stars. And the ladies, is, the, the late, not late, the, the ladies is basically traumatized. And, you know, and she, she does it to a couple more people. And this one guy, he, gets dropped off a big coffee and he just waves it. Oh, he's guess he's fine. He just collapses. And she's like, oh, time to go. And right then the, the A plot, B plot come together a little bit where well, as immediately as ass leaves, Cricket goes to work. So, um, that's actually pretty funny. Because, you know, the guy was going to pick coffee. And then Cricket kind of steps over him, you know, trying not to kick, kick you know, to step on his face. And he's like, oh, Hey Gloria, get any wacky phone calls today? He said, yeah, uh, Mr. Greenbergshire um, ordered 91 hot lattes. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? What, me? No. Oh, okay, you have to do it. Wait, what? No. no, 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 no. Oh yeah, you have to do it because I'm going on my break and it's mandatory. So you have to do it. And he said, so the, the 91 lattes must be done when I get back from my break. And you know, Craig is like, 91 lattes. Okay, it, it like you know, huh? Like he didn't think he had to do it, <laughs> and he knows how to make coffee because he worked there for a while, and you know, um, we um we get to back to the A plot where I was basically saying, oh, let's see how many stars I got so far. One star. Am I really that bad of a driver? And these two, this couple right here, um, and this base supposed to be Team Rocket basically from Pokemon and see like, and they're very passionate and say oh I love you oh I love you and so let's take these disguises kind of off so the female was wearing a male disguise and the male was just in a female disguise so that's pretty funny and it's like and it's like oh and it's and you to keep on making out and the, the, the wheel guys say guys I'm tired of being your third wheel and your literal wheels and she's like oh get away got away and he's like oh don't worry babe I, I, I got us a Swift and he's like and she's basically say, oh, hey, folks, I'm going to get to your destination. Because she said earlier, I'm going to follow the rules from now on. Said, I'm going to get you nice and slow. And she's like, just, just hit the metal, lady. We don't care how you drive. He said, oh, okay. And she basically, oh, my goodness. <laughs> she's a bad driver. And she's like, oh, thanks, old lady. You know how to work a wheel. And she's like, ha, I, t I told you. You know, I told the people that I'm a good driver. He said, "Hey, we have some more errands to run. We, we would love to for you to drive us to drive us to the places." And he's like, "We have more stars to give." And she's like, "Consider it done." 
And then we get to Tilly's plot where um, she's basically trying to help Agatha get out of the phone. And you say, uh, because this phone's indestructible. She's going to try it any way she can to break the phone. And you say, ah. Yeah, and that's basically Agatha. And I love this. She's like, um, wait, sorry. Um, Curse to Big Tech and the way she's kind of raising her fists is kind of like how Gwen Gwendolyn. We haven't seen her um, yeah, ever since when she went to Mars. Remember that episode? Um, where she was going to take the Kludge, the family truck. But look, Big Tech. So this one's from Big Tech. Mm. Fun Fan. Oh, Fun. Is that an OA? But Fun Fun? Whatever. So we, we got to see her picture. Oh, my. Is she back on Earth? Maybe. And you know, she's like, I did. We get the bill. And he's like, he he. And she's like, oh, eat your words, Billy Boy. I got five stars. And he's like, Mom, I don't, I'm not wearing socks. I'm not decent. And he's like, I, I found people who like when driving. And he's like, well, I'm just glad that, you know, um, that someone f can put up with your terrible driving. He's like, People don't just put up with my driving. They love it. They say, hey, I got another message right now. Why don't you tag along? You know, eat your words. Wait, hold, hold on. Hold on a second. I still play sure. And so you don't hear the whole conversation. You basically say, "Why don't you tag along with us?" And you say, "Fine, so let me put my socks on." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come with you. And she say, "Oh, Agatha, I don't know how to get you out." And she say, "Oh, I'm sorry, toolbox. I, you can't achieve your dream." And then I just copy away. And this guy, irresponsible. He's like, "I'm done using the crane, guys." I'm too tired to even turn off the crane. Don't touch the crane, okay? And she's like, yes, please. And we get to Big Coffee, and he's like, whew, 91 lattes. And Gloria's like, oh, did you do it? Like, oh my goodness, you actually did it. And he's like, okay, Cricket, 123 Stinky Street. And he's like, what? No, that's not even a real address. And she's like, oh, how would you know that? Uh, unless this is some sort of, you know, prank. And he's like, one, two, three, stinky street, okay. And then he's like, he's, she's like, okay, good luck. And, oh my goodness, look at all these lattes. He's like, okay. And, um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! This team rocket, team rocket all over again. It's a I love, I love you, teacher. I love you, attorney. Clean attorney. I love you anyway. Oh my goodness! This. Oh my. And then, Alice is like, um, she's like, oh, who, who's this? And I was like, where are my manners? Bill, Bell, um, Bella, Bella Bash, Bill, Bill Bash, Bella, something like that. And Bill's like, oh, before we go, I want to check the new support. And he's like. Oh, and she's like, I'm Maria Medea. We have breaking news. If any of you see this t double trouble duo, call the authorities to disrupt the bank. It's the Channel 11 news. And Bill's like, oh, we better look after <gasps> Mom, you've been driving around criminals. And she's like, I is that true? Did you just kick her out? It's like, I can't get the big one out. She's like, forget it, just drive. And I was like, did he took my car and my son? And the officer keeps us like, Oh, what a beautiful day. And what a great day for a lead. Oh, I guess the car goes right too fast. Because you see, like, the foot's crippled. Because the car went really fast. It's like, wow. And, you know, she's like, Officer Keys, 
you 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 gotta help me they have my son and he's like i'd love to mrs green but my driving foot has a flat i'll drive then and oh my goodness these two he's like oh hey i want to drive you want to drive yeah i want to drive okay you, you drive bill's like the audience i'm so uncomfortable and alice is basically driving he's like oh old lady's catching up to us alice in alice museum she's like how could I have been so stupid driving around criminals uh, all based on one of the five five star rating i don't like this line for obviously keys i keep on liking him less every day he's like oh we do crazy stuff for stars that's the reason why i became a cop not for justice not for doing the right thing whatever it's infuriating sometimes and she's throwing water bottles and stuff it's oh all out of water bottles better pull over shut up and say, oh, lady, you better be have more than just water bottles and mints. Oh, dang, she's got the sword. And pff, she just knocked down um, a um, light post, a lamp post. And, you know, and I also had to go to another way because traffic's jammed. And obviously, like, wait, we're going to lose them. And you're heading straight for the Big City Green, I'm saying Big City Green, yes. Um, Big City Ramp Museum. Why is this a museum? That, I don't know. And then, they're driving on the side of the building. That's, I don't know, the physics don't apply. And then, you know, um, they're chasing after them. And then, is it, oh, you ready, Bella? Yeah, I'm ready, Bella. Footsie. Oh, my goodness. And we get back to Tilly C. Pie. And say, oh, good luck, two box. He's like, let me do this for you. And we go back to Cricket. And he's like, whew. He's like, I can't believe, once again, my actions have consequences, really. And he gets a phone call. He's like, whoop. And he's like, ugh. He's like, oh, hello, um, you know, Mr. Green. Um, this is Mrs. Greenbergshire. I just want to inform you that Mr. Greenbergshire did decide not to get those lattes after all. Because he just got dunked on, boy. Here's the thing. Because even Cricket's like, Gloria, how'd you know? She's like, I knew the whole time. How did she know that he just got dunked on? Like, you know, you know I, was she got cameras? That just, that just doesn't make any sense. And, you know, and she's uh, the whole time, and Cricket's like, and she's like, okay, bye, Cricket. And he's like, ugh. And I was just trying to cut them off, and, and, ah! And Cricket's like, this is not, this cannot get any worse. Pfft. <laughs> It can. And Tilly's like, be free, Agatha. And as the, the thing goes down, it poof, into Alice's car. You know, makes a hole in it. And uh, Tilly's like, woohoo! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. And Bill's like, freedom! I'll just leave it right there. And then, um, um, Bash and Bella, they we gotta get out of here. And then, you know, Alice says, hey, need a lift? Okay. And then obviously he's with two other officers to arrest them. And then, oh, but Bella, my love, I cannot live without you. Oh, Bash, my love. And they're, they're doing the tongue kissing thing. And officer he's like, whoa, you guys need to get a room. Uh, in prison. And, and, you know, um... And, you know, um, and then, you know, officer he's like, oh, hey, Mrs. Green, great job. Get great job driving, you know, to get to get the crim criminals, and you know, um, Alice is like, see, Billy boy, I drove around someone that's not a criminal, and Bill's like, made that two non-criminals, and Alice is like, really, like you are accepting that I'm a good driver, and he's like, your driving may not be for everyone, but you did save my bacon back there, and the officer comes right by, does this extremely wet boy belong to you, and Bill's like, yep, I'll take that, and it's crack it, cover on the coffee. He's, you know, he spilled it. And then he's like, oh, let's go home. I said, oh, Tilly, you're here. He's like, oh, can't talk. I'm trying to check something. And then apparently Agatha was real. Because she's like, thank you, Tilly. You're the only one who cared about me. And then Tilly's like, be free, you angel. Be free. And Bill's like, that phone cost me, like, what was it, like $600 or something like that? And that's the end of the episode. Um, I give this half an episode a... Let me see. Um, mm 
90%. This was a fantastic episode. So, like, the first half, it was great. I mean, 85%. This one was a 90. You know, I, I, I really only had, like, you know, two complaints. And, and that was the whole, how did Gloria know that your know, Cricket just got, you know, basically um, you know, dunked on, like, the coffee spilled on him? Uh, how did Gloria know, like, the right time to call him? So, that was kind of off. And, um... Wait, I actually forgot about the whole driving on the side of the building. So actually, it's an 85%. So not fantastic, but it was great. So overall, um, like, you know, the first half of Time Crisis was at 85%. Second half, um, Driving Grandma, or Grandma Driving, it was an 85%. So overall, entire episode, episode 12, 85%. B+. Plus. It was great. And everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm back home um, for The Owl House Season 2, Episode 7, Eat His Rec Room, and later that day, Episode 8, Knock Knock Knocking on Hootie's Door. And I'll see you then. Okay, bye.